Secular Sakai is asking, given its etymology and historical use to refer to the often violent thuggy cult of Kali worshippers in colonial India and robbers and murderers, should the English word thug be considered an ethnic or even ethno-religious slur? Same question for others, uh, for other insulting words derived from tribal names, such as barbarian and maroon. Oh yeah, the word thug was like used for like. Can you can you do you know the history of this? Um... I looked it up like a year ago because I just learned it out of the blue and it blew my mind. Yeah, mm. but basically, okay. So what what I recall is that they were like essentially like highway robbers. Yeah, yeah, and, and they worship they, Kelly. So, so yeah. just remember, guys. Every time you hear Thug Life, basically, the history of that is that you're a follower of Kelly. <laughs> thug. <laughs> yeah, that is technically that's the roots, right? The yeah, word yeah, Thug, yeah. the for, the word Thugs come from follow like the cult of Kelly. So that that gives a whole new perspective to what Thug Life means. Yeah. Oh, it's God. it's so interesting because in America, like thug is considered basically a racialized word, but not for the thuggy cult in the Indian subcontinent, but for like black men, young black men, right? So many people do consider it to be an ethnic slur, um, but not for the people who this like word actually came from. Um what what do you think about these words that come from basically like essentializing them to some group historically hundreds of years ago? And I now think if it's lost, it's all, if, I think if it's lost its connection and it means something else, don't be sensitive about how we use it. Yeah, no, I hundred percent agree. It's like I mean, yeah. I mean it means something else now. Who gives a crap what the roots were? The roots are irrelevant when nobody thinks of that when they use the word. Yeah, like an infinitesimal minority of people actually know the origin of that word. Like mm. they're not using it to actually, when they say that word, they're not using it to think of a specific group and denigrate them the same way that words in it, like nowadays, we when we have an ethnic slur, like that's commonly identified as an ethnic slur, like you know it and you're thinking of a specific group when you say it, right? I mean, it's, it would be it would be similar to saying, like, you shouldn't call us atheists because the word atheist was first used on Christians. And we're not Christians, so don't use the word atheist on us. Right? Like, technically, the word atheist was used originally um, on Christians by Romans because Christians didn't believe in the Roman gods. So they referred to them as atheists. Right? So given that that the word was describing Christians, are we going to go to the roots and be sensitive about it? Like, oh, this means Christians before. So why are we using it on us now? Like, mm -hmm. come on. Like, really? Like, we know what it means now. Secular oh, yeah. Sakai is saying thug life equals Kali for life. It's using the Kali emojis. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah. But we should, guys, we should look at this on YouTube. And YouTube, it looks so cute. It's basically Cal. It, it, we can, when we highlight it, it doesn't show here. But on YouTube, on YouTube live chat, is a is a cute little Kelly with her tongue out, going like, like this. Yeah. Blowing raspberry. <laughs> Bulbul yeah. is saying assassin is derived from a Persian tribe who used hashish and kill people. Nowadays, no one cares. It's not. It's not Persian. It was Egyptian. Just it's just because they were Shia, that doesn't mean they were Persian. But yeah, yeah they, they were Ismaili. almost right. They were Ismaili from the Fatimiyun Empire in Egypt. They were Shia. So because they were from a Shia, we had two famous Shia empires. One was the uh, Fatimiyun in Egypt. And then when they were removed, we didn't have a Shia empire until the Safavid empire came into power in Iran. But I'm, I kind of see why you might think they're Persian because they were Shia. And at that time, Iran was Sunni. Did you know that Iran was Sunni for most of its Islamic history? No, you always be throwing out all these Persian empires. And I'm like, OK, <laughs> I don't know anything about history. Um, yeah. OK, Boba saying, oh, I, I thought that they were Persian. Thanks for the correction. OK, I mean, the were... idea of using hashish to be an assassin is crazy to me. Like, I, don't I know mean, if that's the beta, hash, but I cannot function. 
Okay, it's debatable. Like people are not sure about this, whether the assassin refers to the hashish that they were using or not. Okay, so that's because because of the close resemblance of it, they think that's what it means, and it could be because they use this so that they become I don't know, I don't know what it means, but but that's debatable. I've seen some people disagree with that. Okay, mm -hmm. but yeah, it refers to those people. But then the word assassin came from, you know, assassin didn't mean, didn't usually, didn't originally mean anybody that goes and assassinate. It, just, it was referring to those groups of people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, um, this is a little bit more of a. Uh, okay. So somebody, like somebody is saying as the Hashashans lived in the Almut in the, per, in the Persian region, they lived, all, they lived in Syria, they lived in Egypt, they lived in Persia. They lived all around that area. They were active. They were like taking out the Knight Templars. They were taking out different kind of caliphs or like heads of states and stuff like that. They were active. They had they had centers. They have one of their main centers was was in Syria. I mean, take okay, technically you could say Syria back then was Persia. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Fine, fine. Modern if you, day Syria. Yeah, modern day Syria. Fine, fine. If you want to look, at, uh, I mean, what was in Persia back then? Um, the glory of the Persian Empire cannot be contained <laughs> by your measly borders, sir. Okay, okay, okay. So they were they were active in Egypt and again. in Syria, <laughs> and in Syria and modern day Syria. And if you want to consider modern day Syria as, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Persia, they were everywhere. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.